Hey guys, what's up? It's Derek Sims here, and I am back with my part two of three videos that I've recorded in the first couple days of the month for you guys, uh, exploring the new interior design pack that came out. And in the first part video, we created Angelo Garza, the Sim that we are playing now. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look around at the new pack furniture and stuff that came with it. And basically, we are doing what the pack entails. It's interior design or interior decorate, whatever it's called. I can't think right now. <laughs> but we are giving his own place the job treatment before we actually take on a client so and plus it gives me a chance to explore what not only the space i have to work with but like figuring out and learning the new items that came with the pack uh it's a very cute apartment it kind of sucks that the bathroom is not attached to the bedroom but hey Neither is mine here anyway, so that's totally cool. <laughs> um, as you can see, there's not really many door options. It doesn't look like there's any window options. So for the majority of this reno, I will do the best I can when it comes to picking out the items from the new pack. As you can see, we're trying to make the space nice and open. It's an apartment for God's sakes. You want to let in as much natural light as possible in the most appropriate spaces, such as the living room, in the dining room, and if it flows into the kitchen like it does here, then that's most appropriate. Now, that wallpaper that I put in the kitchen, I'm not too crazy about. You know, like, I love the colors. Don't get me wrong. I love those colors. But, I don't know. These cabinets, though, I was happy to see that we got new cabinetry. They look really nice. They kind of, to me personally, they looked like something that should have come out in Eco Lifestyles. I don't know why specifically Eco Lifestyles. But when I saw the cabinetry and the counters and all that for the new pack, I personally felt that it should have just come out when Eco Lifestyles came out. As you can see, I'm trying to figure out how do I want to do the cabinets. I've never done cabinets like this before, especially when they're connected to the countertops. I don't know. It's just weird looking right now. I'm trying to figure out all the placements and how all this works. <laughs> As you can see, I kind of struggle for a bit because I'm like, how do I want to do this? What do I want to do? Where do I want to put it? You know, like, it, it's weird. It's nice that we got some new appliances, but what kind of, what I don't like about the appliances is the sink. I hate, hate, hate the sink options that came with this new pack. It just... I don't know it just doesn't look right what doesn't look right either is well pretty much this whole kitchen I think I'd do it two or three more times after originally putting this down and I just couldn't love it that sink was throwing me off so badly and just trying to figure out you know what I really want to do with this kitchen so for the time being I'm gonna just let the music take over and you guys try to enjoy <laughs> the rest of my kitchen build and then I will hop back on when we move to another area.
real quick, I just want to hop on and say I love the rug that I have selected. You saw the other choices. I don't know what that third choice is because it's locked, but that rug that I picked is magnificent. I love it very, very much. It actually ties the space together. I'm still not content with the kitchen and the cabinet tray and all of that. I'm probably going to change it one or two more times. <laughs> Anyway, since we are moving into another room, I guess I will still talk for a bit. Um, as we're doing the dining room, trying to separate off naturally as possible from the living room and kitchen slash entry. And I should also mention that I'm doing this with the money left over from when I created Angelo. Yeah, I didn't do any mother loads. I didn't do any money cheats or nothing the only cheats i did was like free well you know like to make things move and whatnot at my will power <laughs> oh here i go with the cabinets again shoot yeah i don't know why i thought that looked really sick and i don't mean sick as an ill gross i mean sick as in this looks good sick but when I would do this, I would tr turn back in my mind and think, do I want the kitchen cabinets and counters to match what's in the dining room? And I'll fight with that later on. But right now you can see I'm fighting the curtains. I'm kind of keen on it, but that's a different story. And by a different story, I mean there's not really one to tell. <laughs> anyway, I will take a breather from talking and just let's enjoy the build. Going into the living room, I was expected to, honestly, I really did not think we were going to get much of anything furniture-wise for the living room. But seeing those sectionals like that for the couch and sofa, I was honestly just blown away. I did not think we would be getting any new furniture pieces. Like, I'd seen what little we had. That's enough. Those plants, I love that we have two plants. They're new, but, you know, it kind of could have been more, but it wasn't. It should have, you know, it's like the saying, woulda, coulda, shoulda, but didn't. Yeah. That's my thoughts on that. Anyway, back to the build. Oh my god, real quickly though. Remember earlier when I said I was changing the kitchen like two or three or four times more after the original edit? <sighs> yeah, you can see I was still very unsatisfied with this kitchen. <laughs> this was a pain in the butt. As you can see, I ultimately got rid of the matching sink because it was, it was just very fugly. And when I say fugly, I mean very freaking ugly. Like, holy cow, that thing is just fugly. <laughs> like, I don't like that sink. I really do not like those two sinks that came with the pack whatsoever. It's just fugly. <sighs> anyway, back to the build.
I think the cool part about this new pack, interior design, interior decorate, whatever it's called still, <laughs> I'll get the gist of it later, but not right now because I frankly don't care right now. <laughs> I'm just happy. Um, there's been some pros, there's been some cons. We obviously know the cons. We're learning some pros. And the fun thing that this pack has been good for me with, and I'm sure it goes for a lot of you guys out there too, or anybody that's watching that doesn't have the pack yet, but is curious about it, is that the new stuff that we have gotten, the wallpapers, the rugs, the pieces of furniture, little things like that, it kind of puts your brain to work in a good way. Like it makes you think logically how you want the space to tie in together with, you know, the pieces of furniture. Like you can see that I messed with the kitchen two to three times at least, maybe four. And you know, the appliances are all white, the cabinets are brown and it's all matching and you want it to complement each other. You want the walls to complement the flooring and the flooring to complement, you know, what's above it like the cabinets and the countertops and the appliances you know you just want everything to complement one another <sighs> moving on remember earlier when i said that i was using angelo's money from when we created him i bought this apartment unfurnished and that was smart however i'm running low on funds later on throughout the game whenever will be i'm hoping to have enough money to either build my own house and design it my way or upgrade to a bigger living space and you know renovate it like i'm doing with this apartment as for the rug you can see it kind of glitched on some of the colors they looked pretty but i was not liking the glitching moments so <laughs> still love that rug though hands down the lighting could have been better but it's tolerable i'll live with it the couch color love it got it to match the dining set table the dining set table the dining table chairs i should say <laughs> by the time you guys are watching this i had just gotten off of work two hours ago and i'm gonna be up all morning because i got appointments and phone calls to make <laughs> Oh my goodness. The sucky part about running out of funds right now is the fact that you can't really decorate the bedroom as much as you want. You can't really furnish it as much as you want. And you can't really do that in the bathroom either. Like you gotta go basic. And with having those funky pipes right there, I love that it's a cool touch, but at the same time, I'm thinking, what the heck am I gonna do? Like it, it was just too much. And I'll figure it out at a later date because I'm honestly not enjoying this right now. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying the decorating. I'm enjoying the remodelization. I'm not loving the sink. I mean, it works for that, but it's still so fugly. Oh my God. I will never, ever, 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 ever get over how fugly that sink is it oh god and you guys can't tell me otherwise i just can't be convinced that that oh. remember earlier when I said that I wanted the kitchen to match that's why I changed the wallpaper and I think it complements it so nicely I really do I mean don't get me wrong I love the first color choice I had but with this pack it wants you to test your mind and actually think about how you would want a space to look like you want it to look like an actual space. You don't want it to look random, like, oh, blue, purple, hexagon shaped wallpaper with brown cabinets and white countertops and white appliances. 
Like, that's just not the gist. No, you want it to match. So having the neutral tone wallpaper of the kitchen was perfect. Now you can see that I'm doing the furniture in the bedroom, making sure it all works perfectly, like black furniture. It's sleek, it's sexy, and even having the furniture in the living room, like the couch or the dining table chairs, perfect. Adding little things here and there with what little money I have, perfect. We'll figure that out later on throughout the game, whenever that will be. <laughs> oh golly. The one thing that I wish they had was blinds. The curtains are okay, but at the same time, I wish they had blinds. So, for now, we have finished decorating and we are looking for a job. I've never done an interior design job or interior decorate job before, obviously. And that video will be the final video. Not forever, obviously, but it will be video number three, as this is video number two, and video number one is creating Angelo. So, yeah! What sucks is you can't start on day one, the job, you have to wait until the next day. So that kind of sucks. So basically, I gotta pass time, literally just killing time at its finest, until the next day to do my first job. And I'm really excited to show you guys how it went. It took three days, like three separate days to do the video <laughs> and as we can see here we have Derek Sims just having a gay old time here <laughs> if you guys still want to download Angelo Garza a description link hopefully will be provided in the description below just like in the first video it didn't have any custom content on the sim so I believe that it should be able to download and if there's any issues, feel free to let me know on Twitter or in the comment section below. I get notifications everywhere. I think I'll end the video here because basically the rest of the video is showing you the rest of Angelo's day. And who really has time for that? We want to get to the excitement of the job. So stay tuned for part three or video three, whatever you want to call it, the final installment of uh, figuring out this new pack. Bye.